Pranam Acharya Ji. I was introduced to Dhyan through Indian classical music. Since then, I am deeply interested in spirituality. In the last session, you mentioned cessation of passion is dispassion. I think about it a lot and I don't feel I am passionate towards anything in my life. I like classical music, I like reading about spirituality, I like listening to masters, I like the silence. But I'm not passionate about anything. I'm unable to understand where I want to go. Life is going really great. But the inner me is not at all satisfied with what I do. I cannot continue like this anymore. Please tell me what to do in this situation. First of all, figure out clearly what the situation is like. On one hand, you say life is going really great. And then immediately after you declare that you cannot continue like this anymore. What do you want? Hmm? It's sort of. Is life going great or horrible? If it's going great, why can't you continue as things are? The inner me is not at all satisfied with what I do. I am not passionate about anything. What is passion? In the spiritual sense, the meaning of the word passion is pain. And you do look quite pained, sort of. Hmm? So you do have passion. Passion does not merely mean heightened enthusiasm. Passion stems from pain. A perception of a lack of something. An inner wound, an inner hollow. It is very much present. And that's what you have to observe, your passion. You do have passion. Not wanting anything in life. Not, by, not being enthused by anything in life. Not having love towards life. Feeling miserable even when life is going apparently great. All this is passion. This is your passion. So do not say that you do not have any passion in life. This is your passion. Your passion is that in the middle of a seemingly wonderful life, you are still dissatisfied. That is your passion. Observe it. And next time, when you send over a question, make sure that you do not say that life is wonderful. And if life is wonderful, do not send over a question. Hmm? You cannot go to the doctor and say, you know doctor, I am in the best of health. I am the fittest person around. I think I'm going to live 350 years. But why don't you treat me? If you are so fit and so healthy, then you are fit to treat the doctor. Why have you gone to the doctor? Again and again, you people take me back to Shole. Mausi, 
my friend is wonderful just that he is the most wretched one around mousy my friend has all the great qualities just that he is a drunkard mousy drinking is no problem at all drinking will drop the day he stops going to that whore sort of you look like a dharmendra fan hmm or bachchan fan that's how we are right no everything is all right it's just that i'm living in hell bitu how is papa doing papa is very good just that he died this morning why can't we be a little upfront charji this is some lines from rumi's delights should i read god created pain and sorrow that happiness might show itself by contrast for hidden things are made manifest by means of their opposites since god has no opposite he is hidden uh-huh. for hidden things are made manifest by means of their opposites uh, i don't understand if everybody is stupid will you ever know that they are stupid in a village in a room everybody is stupid now is anybody stupid so things become manifest by the presence of their opposite one intelligent man walks in and now there is a lot of stupidity so in some sense the intelligent man brought in a lot of stupidity intelligence is stupidity before the intelligent man came in was anybody stupid nobody was stupid 